Now, once again, just to reiterate, not very, uh, I am sure you'll be knowing what are natural numbers. Natural numbers are all numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the counting numbers that we have are all natural numbers. The first primary type of numbers which a child learns about are the natural numbers. We have the concept of sum of natural numbers here, n natural numbers. There are certain formulae involved. If you take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. If you see A is 1 and D is 1. So if you use the formula SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. We end up getting SN as N into N plus 1 upon 2. So if you take n natural numbers say for example you can take this it's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you add all of them you get 6 plus 5 11 plus 4 15 plus 3 18 plus 3 21 substitute on the contrary the same way you get 6 into 6 plus 1 that is 6 into 7 42 by 2 which is also 21 so this one if you substitute these values a as 1 and d as 1 we have n into n plus 1 upon Similarly, if you want to find the sum of the first n odd natural numbers, it is going to be Sn, which will turn out to be n squared. We'll have to take the same formula. I can take a as 1 and d is going to be 2. And hence, accordingly, you get n squared. So this way, we can find sum of n natural numbers, the sum of n odd natural numbers. numbers. Same way we have sum of squares of the first few natural numbers, sum of cubes of the first few natural numbers. There are formulae even for that. So, hence we have the sum of n natural numbers. See, sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 plus 2. Sum of squares of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1, the whole upon 6. Say, for example, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus up till n squared. Sum of all these will give you n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. Similarly, if you want to take the cubes, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus n cube, this Sn will turn out to be n into n plus 1, the whole by 2, the whole square. In other words, it means n square into n plus 1, the whole square upon 4, is a sum of cubes of the first few natural numbers. And this is the sum of the squares of the first few natural numbers. So these formulae we shall use further ahead. Say for example, find the sum of the first 10 natural numbers. So first 10 natural numbers as in 1 to 10. So n is going to be 10. Sn we know is n into n plus 1 upon 2. So which will turn out to be n is going to be 10 into 10 plus 1, 11 upon 2, which is going to be So the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 55. You can manually do it. You can add 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 turn out to be 55. So how we can apply this particular formula. So find the sum of natural numbers from 10 to 50. So it includes 10, 11, 12, 13 and so on up to 50. So there are two ways of doing it. You can use Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, if you see, there are going to be 50 minus 10. That is 40 plus 1. There will be 41 terms. If it is told sum of natural numbers between 10 and 50, you start with 11 and end at 49. But here it is from 10 to 50, so it includes 10. So there are basically 41 terms. So it's going to be 41 by 2. 2a, that is 2 into 10, plus 41 minus 1, 40 into 1, which will turn out to be 41 by 2, 
into 20 plus 40 that is 60 which will turn out to be 41 into 30 which should be 1230 so that means sum of terms is going to sum of numbers from 10 to 50 so and so the other way of doing it is find out s50 that is sum of the first 50 terms minus sum of the first nine terms. So out of the 50, you take away the first nine terms, you get the sum of the numbers from 10 to 50. So S50 as per the formula, formula Sn is n into n plus 1 by 2. Now this Sn is a general formula for any arithmetic progression. This Sn is a formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers. So it's going to be S50 minus S9, which would be 50 into 50 plus 1 by 2 minus s9 that is n that is 9 into n plus 1 10 upon 2 which will turn out to be 0 and you have 50 into 51 it should be 1 2 7 5 minus this would be 90 by 45 which is also 1230 so either you use the general formula for an arithmetic progression or use s50 minus s9 both way the sum of the numbers from 10 to 15 is 1230 and remember when you're talking about natural numbers we are dealing with numbers counting numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 the primary numbers which we were introduced to as children okay <clears throat> all right now here we have sum of all natural numbers between 100 and 1000 which are multiples of 5 between 100 and 1000 so if it was told from 100 to 1000 it would include 100 otherwise you start with 105 110 and so on and so forth and the last one is going to be 995, 95, I'm sorry, which are multiples of 5. So you need to find Sn, which is going to be n by 2. Now here we know the first term and the last term, but we don't know what n is. So it's better to use n by 2 into 2a. First we find out n. Okay, so a in any case is 105 and b is 110 so tn is 9, 9, 995 and we know sorry 995 tn would be a plus n minus 1 into d so 995 would be a that is 105 plus n minus 1 into sorry d is going to be 110 minus 105 5 so it's going to be 5 so this will turn out to be 890 is equal to 5 n minus 5 so 895 upon 5 is equal to n n turns out to be 179 so that means there are about 179 such numbers from here to here and we need to find out sin so sin is going to be n by 2 into a plus l we can use a plus l so here is going to be 179 upon 2 into a is 105 plus l is 995 which will turn out to be 179 by 2 into 105 plus 1100 1, so we have 1100 which will turn out to be 179 into 550 let's see what 179 into 550 is it turns out to be 98450 98450 so first exercise is to find out n using tn and also take care between if it is told from 100 to 1000 we need to start 
the AP with 100 and N with in that case A is going to be 100 and L is going to be 1000. Here is between 100 and 1000. So the first number after 100 which is a multiple of 5 is 105 and the last one is going to be 995. So the sum of all these terms is 98,450 and yes we do have it right. Further ahead we have Okay, similar to this, find the sum of all natural numbers between 250 and 1000, which are exactly divisible by 3. So, this is going to be an AP. So, 250. So, it's going to be 252 is going to be the first such number. Count the number of digits is going to be 2 plus 5, 7 plus 2, 9. Sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So, the first number after 250 is 252. Then, 250. 5 and so on and 1000 the last such number is 999 so this is an AP where A is 252 and D is going to be 3 now T and we need to find A plus N minus 1 into D T and in this case is 999 is equal to 252 plus n minus 1 into 3. So that turns out to be 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 5, 4, 747 is equal to 3 n minus 3. So that turns out to be 750 is 3 n. n turns out to be 750 by 3, 250. In other words, there are 250 such numbers that are divisible by 3 and which lie between 250 and 1000. Now that we know n, we know A, we know D, we can we even know A and L. So we can use SN is N by 2 into A plus L. N by 2 is 250 by 2. A happens to be 252 plus 999. This will turn out to be 125 into One thousand two hundred and fifty-one. So it's one twenty-five into one thousand two hundred and fifty-one. Let's check. Yes. So one thousand two fifty-one into one hundred and twenty-five, and you have one lakh fifty-six thousand three hundred and seventy-five. One lakh fifty-six thousand three hundred and seventy-five. So among these answers we have that now oh, yes this one one lakh fifty six thousand three hundred and seventy five so this follows the same line as the previous question and we do have it right so all these sums give a reading reading the question is a very important process and to see that what exactly is the requirement so words like between from make a lot of difference and the entire answer could change. Let's check what we have in store for us. Okay, sum of n squared, that is the sum of n squared means what sum of squares of natural numbers, which means one square plus two square plus three square plus four square. We did that this is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So, sn. So, sum of n square is nothing but sn when you have this kind of a situation. Sum of squares of the first n natural numbers is this, which happens to be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1, the whole upon. So, sum of squares of the first n natural numbers is this. And let's see that is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1, the whole divided by 6. And yes, we do have it right. Furthermore, we have sum of all two digit odd numbers. Sum of all two digit numbers. Whenever you have this kind of situation, just write the AP. Sum of all two digit odd numbers. So, the two digit odd numbers starting from 10, 11. So the first two digit odd number is 11 and then you have 13 and so on and so forth and the last two digit odd number is 9. 
So sum of all these, so here you have A is 11, D is 2 and Tn is 99. So you have Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So 99 is equal to A which is 11 plus N minus 1 into 2. So that gives you 88 is equal to 2n minus 2. So n will turn out to be 90 by 2, which is 45. So there are 45 such numbers, and you need to find Sn. So Sn is going to be n by 2 into a plus l. We can use 2a plus n minus 1 into d2, but we need to find out n, which will be 45 by 2 into 11 plus 99 which will turn out to be 45 by 2 into 110, which will be 55 into 45, which will be 2,475, 2,475, and we have 2,475 as the answer. And yes, we do have it.